Thank you very much, Nato. We'll be continuing. Um, you have more questions later. We'll be continuing with a panel discussion. The model that he actually presented was quite interesting and quite innovative, and it's it's interesting to see if it's a model that we can actually do here in the Philippines. So our next success story is actually from the Philippines. To present it, let's welcome the CEO of SL AgriTech. We have Mr. Henry Lim Bon Leong. Uh, a pleasant good morning to everybody. Uh, of course, uh, my friend uh, Joey, uh, the one who are really uh, helping us, uh, Landbang, uh, Alex Bonaventura. Uh, I saw uh, Art Yap there, our Secretary of Agriculture, now a uh, Congressman. I'd like to greet everybody a uh, happy uh, Autumn Festival. This is a Chinese Autumn Festival. We have to eat mooncake tonight for prosperity. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, I assure you that it's going to be uh, fast and lively because uh, all of them are pictures now. I think one of the inclusive growth that we are really looking at is to really how to help the farmers become entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur right now, I'm a farmer. Now, a farmer can also be an entrepreneur and uh, vice versa, okay? Uh, of course, this entrepreneur that you saw that uh, I'm running a group of companies, the Sterling Paper Group. And uh, okay, right now you saw a farmer, no? A farmer with long sleep who wears shades, and uh, probably uh, some uh, some black pian. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, this is with uh, some of my rice here. Uh, uh, I think in, even in China they call me a farmer who likes to wear suit uh, and also with tie, no? Uh, yeah. Of course, this uh, the father of hybrid rice, uh, the national treasure of China, Professor Yuan Longping, who looks every bit like a farmer. And uh, he was the one who really uh, imparted his uh, technology of hybrid rice to me for me to develop a hybrid rice that is suitable for the tropical climate like the Philippines. Because you cannot use the seeds coming from China. China belongs to a temperate region. Of course, uh, this year with my son and with, uh, of course, uh, Professor Zhang in our rice field, we have to develop high yielding varieties, uh, resistance to pests and disease. And uh, right now, uh, our seeds are even uh, saline tolerant, so you can plant in the coastal areas and the most of the islands in the Philippines. Of course, this one of the best hybrid rice seeds, uh, not only here in the Philippines, but also in other countries. We are right now in Indonesia, we are in Vietnam, we are in Man Myanmar, we are in Bangladesh, we are entering India right now. The most irony that happens to us is that I'm exporting 500 tons of my hybrid rice seeds SLA to, to Vietnam, and yet we are importing rice coming from Vietnam. Okay. Of course, uh, we have not only the seeds, we have also the rice. Uh, how many of you has ever eaten Doña Maria rice? Can I expect? Okay. Okay. I'm happy, no? Before, uh, only barely five of you uh, raised your hands, and then I said, for those who raise your hands, I'll give you a free pack of rice later on. But, <laughs> and then everybody started raising their hands, but not so many of you today. <laughs> but right now, of course, it's available in uh, all supermarkets. No? That's the best tasting rice. This is what uh, SLA is doing. We are practically changing the entire uh, rural landscape, uh, especially in central Luzon and other parts of the countries. This is just like a a rice waterfalls, SL7, SL9, we have so many varieties right now. We have an SL12, uh, which is uh, good for the, the wet season. Uh, these are new varieties, SL18. Uh, of course, uh, we are having a very good relationship with the farmers. These are farmers in Rebaisia. And then, uh, you know, I find really uh, a strength and vigor you know, every time I, uh, I, I visited the farmers. And these are the farmers in uh, Isabella. Uh, okay, these uh, husband and wife farmers, no, uh, who join me in also one in uh, here. Okay, this is Kaambo. No, Kaambo is around more than 70 years old. You know, the average age of our farmers is around 58 years old already. You know, almost senior citizen. Nobody would like to become a farmer, but when I 
You know, Kaambo has three sons. I met up anak siya. All of them are working in Metro Manila. Nobody's helping him out. He's the only one. But when he started using uh, hybrid rice seeds uh, during our harvest festival, itong apo niya, oh, nandito sa harap, he even asked yung apo niya to have pictures with us, no, holding the, the rice grains. And then uh, he even asked his apo to make mano to me. Sabi daw, oh, salamat kay Mr. Lim, may pakasa ng mga magsasaka. I'm sure itong apo na ito will remainder and become a good farmer. So we have really, uh, uh, we can see you know, that uh, we are really uh, encouraging the youth to become farmers. And I'll tell you how the farmers are making more money right now. This is also one farmers. Alam mo, nakaano eh. Bunga yan, medyo may amoy lupa, pero magsasaka yun. But we are going to transform them already. Okay? Uh, this is, uh, you know, see, see the presidential sisters, they're joining me during the last uh, administration, no? uh, during the Harvest Festival. These are some of the uh, people here, and then of course we go around talking with uh, various uh, governors, uh, Governor Yap of Tarlac, we have Governor Bong Antonio of uh, Cagayan at that time, uh, and then of course here we are exporting rice, all over right now. Uh, we are the only company in the Philippines that have been exporting rice since 25 to 30 years ago. We have been exporting our Doña Maria rice to all countries in the Middle East, to Dubai, Riyadh, uh, Oman. Also in America, you can find our rice in uh, Chicago, New York, LA, Maryland. You can find also our rice in Australia. We are right now even in Singapore. And just to tell you that uh, when the average price of rice in the market is only around 400 US dollars per metric ton. We are selling our rice at $1,400 per metric ton. It is a very good premium rice varieties. Uh, we lost our Milagrosa to the Thais already, but right now we are bringing in a new Doña Maria rice from the Philippines into the world map. I'm glad about this picture. No? I do not know if I can show you this one because uh, I was invited by Iri to make a presentation on hybrid rice. I'm not a rice scientist. I'm just an engineering graduate from UP who happens to dwell into agriculture. But uh, I was talking about hybrid rice to uh, rice scientists from 17 countries in Iri. And I treasure these uh, pictures very much. Yeah. Of course, uh, these are some of the awards that I've given. Uh, I'll show you some of the successful farmers and entrepreneurs. We have uh, Ricardo Buenaventura here. He's uh, a chairman of a cooperative. So cooperatives, more than 10 years ago, negative ang balance sheet nila. Uh, malaking utang niya, they have 1,500 members. But then when they started switching to my rice, right now may rice mill na sila, meron na silang uh, multi-purpose hall, may dryer sila. Right now, they have asset worth more than 580 million pesos. Can you imagine that? This is one farmer in uh, Cagayan, sa Tugigaraw. You can find tricycles like that. Nakalagay, tignan mo siya sa baba ng tricycle. Ano ba nakalagay yung tarpaulin na yan? Katas ng SL8H. Aba, di ba dati katas ng Saudi? But ngayon, may katas ng SL8H. So I was so surprised and so excited no, when I saw this picture. I asked my people to find sino ba may-ari yung tricycle na yan. And then we find Kajimi. Kajimi has only two hectares of rice land. But six to seven years ago, he started planting my varieties. And then, according to him, he was able to send his only daughter to college. He was able to buy a hand tractor to make a nice farm and lease out his hand tractor. And he was able to buy the long tricycle pang pasada. All of this, dahil pinalitan lang yung bini na yan. Okay? Ito, oh, naka-fortuner pa ito, si Cap. Uh, just to tell you, no, uh, about hybrid rice, no? Of course, uh, Right now, we have a lot of inbred certified seeds. But why should we do inbred certified seeds? We can leapfrog to hybrid seeds, no? Certified seeds, inbred seeds, according to uh, a good senator, can do around six tons per hectare. But for hybrid, you can go as high as 17 tons per hectare. You know, I've been always with the farmers in, ano, in Central Luzon, especially those farmers in Nueva Ecija. Sinabi sa akin, mga magsasaka sa Nueva Ecija during dry season, Wala masyadong peste, walang typhoon. If they use my seeds SL8, if they yield less than 10 tons per hectare, mahinang klaseng sila magsasaka. Either araw-araw, nagsasabong lang sila o nagpupusoy. But they can really go 10 tons, 12 tons, 14 tons, up to 17 tons per hectare. 
Anong arithmetic to? Assuming kung 10 times lang yan, the price of pala is around 16 to 18 pesos per kilo yun. Pag 18 pesos yan, that's 180,000. Pag sariling lupa mo yan, you'll not be spending more than 30 to 35,000 pesos for your input. So ang kikita mo, makano? 120,000, 150,000. Pag 15 times ka na, you can even make more than 200,000 pesos per hectare sa loob ng apat na buwan lang yan. No, kung may limang hectare, milyonaryo ka na. So si Kap, nakabili siya ng, ano, ng fortuner. But I was challenging the Kap. No? Sabi ko, alam mo, yung mga magsaka sa, ano, eh, sa Japan, hindi na fortuner yun. Eh, di ba? Line cruiser, saka yung Lexus na SUV. No? Hopefully, we can also do that in the future. Of course, these are farmers that have some of the highest yields. Uh, you have farmers who can do what? 345 gabans per hectare? That's 17 tons per hectare. How much can you imagine how much is making money? And this one is doing around 316 tons. Uh, 316 gabans, 15.8 tons per hectare. Oh, tapos na pala ako eh. Okay, we, we just move na lang na ano. Of course, ito, tat, dalawang nakadalawang bagyo ito, naka five times pa yan. Okay. Uh, anyway, if you want, you can, ano. So what I want to see, ano, I'll tell you is that uh, one seed can come a tribe and an established nation. One kid, seed can really change one's life and one seed can determine one's destiny. And one seed can really lead to prosperity. Again, uh, thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. Hopefully, everybody, uh, all the farmers will be able to work out in time like me. Oh, thank you.